Great, good evening everyone. My name is Pablo, I'm a new graduate student at the Elliott School. Uh, how many of you have been to Busboys and Poets or know about it? How many of you have been to uh, Kramer Books in DuPont Circle? Okay, you know about it too. How many of you have been to the local Latin bar? Latino bar. How many of you have heard, uh, have been to, have eaten Latin food? Okay, uh, how many of you have uh, heard Spanish around you? Or have Spanish speaking friends? Great. Okay, so uh, I am American of Hispanic and Latino heritage, and uh, I have an idea to come up with, a Sp with an American-based Spanish language cafe and bookstore hybrid venue. Uh, that would be the first one, I think, here in Washington, D.C. Um, here in the United States, um, and the reason why I bring this up is because here in the United States, we have a staggering growing population uh, of Hispanic and Latino people, some of who are already American citizens. Um, and uh, there's actually a number of inequalities within the communities um, that have uh, affected you know, various areas of education. Um, and some of, there's many places and universities where you know, this is under studies, but we need something more at the core of civil society where we can bring people into the community. Uh, it's a Spanish language, so it's not, ba it's not only based for uh, people of Hispanic or Latino origin, but it will be focused on uh, having conversations uh, in the language about uh, inequality, social justice, uh, a space, basically an intellectual hub uh, where you can bring people together to have these important conversations in Spanish. Uh, there is a, uh, right now, 17% of the population in the United States is of Hispanic or Latino origin, uh, and that's about to rise to 28% in the next decade. So the customers out there are just waiting, I think, for this uh, to arise. And I think that with the various inequalities in the community, socioeconomically, in education, um, uh, this is one of the business, I think, that will definitely uh, get the community coming, having uh, a venue where they can have events, proposed events, on some of the issues that are important to them, uh, and also issues that matter to us as a nation, uh, regarding the environment, regarding women's inequality, uh, regarding, regarding uh, other minority communities. So um, with that being said, uh, that, is, uh, that is it. So thank you. I'm sorry? Um, no, if you have any suggestions, uh, I'm open to it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got this one. All right. Again, I'm Joe. Pablo, great presentation. It sounds like you've really uh, spent some time thinking about this, and this is something you're passionate about, which is going to be really important as you get started. Um, and I like the way that you connected with the audience immediately. Um, it, you definitely played to sort of the, the student crowd here, too. Um, as a recent student myself, it's something that uh, that I believe fully in is community and inclusion. I think that um, that's something that's going to be a really great opportunity for you. I think in talking about a certain type of inclusion, you're going to have to really define um, some limits for yourself. Um, so don't try to go too open too fast, um, because you do want to create that culture, as, we were as Tim was talking about, um, rather than just the strategy of anyone who wants to come in can use this space. Um, another thing that I would think about is trying to tap into currently existing resources. So I don't know if you can try this out at a place like Kramer Books or um, at Bus Boys and Poets. They might have some nights to do that, where you can actually go and talk to people about creating your own space and finding a team. Um, you probably don't want to do this entirely yourself. Um, or you could go into a place like Cafe Citron or another place that um, encourages the Latino population to gather. Um, and use their space uh, during hours that maybe they aren't using it at night or something. If there are, are bars that um, you can tap into for uh, brunches or uh, afternoon discussions, something like that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.